Let's begin now. Yo, it's Ray, Ray certified worldwide. Oh, nah, nah. Kings, Jamaica right now. Beat him up. Rock oh, nah, City, nah, nah. Virgin Islands. We coming. It's Greg Street. It's certified oh, worldwide. Nah, nah, nah. Let's see if I can grab it. Yay, got it. Okay, let's try and focus. Hi, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me while I clear my throat. How are you doing? We're deep into autumn now. As you can see, all the colours are changing. Farmers are cutting back the hedges. So that means puncture pie is on the menu, which is a pan in the arse. I've already got a, let's see if I can see, skid mark in my front tyre. There it is. A thorn already, and I had to break it off. Hey, break it off. Let's see if I can see it. Where are you? God, these wells are huge. But it definitely hasn't come out because I haven't seen any slime. So I think it's just got pushed further in. No, don't know. No lussy. So, today's ride. I'm going over the hills I'm far away. And I want to... I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I want to, I want to, I want to go and investigate a little coppice myself and Mark found over Shropshire, Shropshire way, that way. But I'm gonna link up a few trails and have a little chat along the way, have a little catch up, see how you're doing. I'm doing fine, thanks for asking. Are you well? I thought you were. So we'll head down beyond and yonder beyond over there. So back in a short while, uh, I made it through the junction of death as well. Fortunately, because the road was closed, so no near misses or close calls back in the mouth so we have a stray horse on the track one for you Andy the horse is ours there's a poodle with a body warmer and he's just tried to see me off let's go and give him a taste of his medicine Oh yeah, come on then, bring it on, gilet dog. <clears throat> Who let the dogs out? That mess with a bloke on a bike. My weather app got it right today. Cloudy with sunny intervals, no chance of meatballs. But if you ever look on the BBC weather app, it always says rain, which is a load of And you can't beat an autumnal bike ride when the temperature's just right and the weather's just right. But we're gonna turn off to the right in a moment. And I think it's called Shepherd's Way or Shepherd's Path. So as you can see, a bridal way. And we have had a bit of rain about 24 hours ago. So it'll be interesting to see what this is like. But it doesn't look like anybody's been down here in a while. Oh, that's what she said. I keep forgetting to do those. That's what she said. So I don't think this is going to be a very fast trail like it is normally in the summer. Very overgrown. And the nettles are super stingy. But they're all dying off now. So they just want to get the Oh, you bastard! Oh, just heard a buzzard fly over. Trying to get the last stings out of the unsuspecting prey. It does open up a bit now. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, I love it. So back in the day, the shepherds used to bring their flocks down here. And soon it'll be all shepherds wash their socks by night. Oh, very muddy. Concentration. Oh, hello. Oh, I'll see where you go this one. Bloody hell. Back in a bit, you can see where horses have been down here because, as you saw by the sign, it is a bridle way. But it's super cakey mud. And it's that time of year now when the people go out shooting the pheasants. Oh my god, it's just going to get super cakey now. 
I've been toying with the idea lately to thinking about getting a gravel bike, but then I think of all the trails like this I ride, and I just don't think it'll be any good because the control you would have is probably a, a fourth of what you have on a mountain bike because of the narrow bars and these bars have so much control over the bike because of the, the width of them and just riding down here which is my type of XC I like doing um, I want to say hello as well to a guy I've started following recently called Free The Knee he rides around the Reiki and I only found out about him from my son who was chatting with him so hi Free The Knee you're not far from where I am and welcome all new subscribers I am sitting at 642 which is absolutely brilliant <coughs> Uh, no, and all existing subscribers, obviously. Muchas gracias. There we go. Now there's a little climb out of here now, going up towards Chesterton. Ah, oh, shouldn't be too bad. This has been redone recently, but if the horses use the path, it can mess it up. But climb on the acoustic. It's definitely going to have a good clean when I get in and the bike hey <laughs> definitely need my skills and my gills up there so I am going this is Chesterton and I'm going to go and pick up the other side of Badger and check out these trails I'll put a link in below to the other guy free the knee um, he does, I said that, um, <laughs> he does loads of crazy downhill stuff and rides into a lot of trees from watching his videos. <laughs> okay. Just spoke to a very nice young lady and she said, go this way. And this should bring me out by churchyard I've ridden past so we will see very posh over here yeah, very bumpy as well now this should bring me down in opposite they call it Badger Dingle and there in the distance is the thatched roof to the churchyard or cemetery ah oh, this is good saddle down come on there we go ah oh. Bit of exploring. I like new, new trails and challenges. So just opposite here is the track that I need to take, which is here. And I need to go off to the right, somewhere down here, and it loops around the top now where's it gone is it here i don't know that just looks like caves or something oh i'll have a look at this i'll have an explore get my phone torch on helps if you take your glasses off as well okay come on wakey wakey press that press that put the torch on That looks like it goes down. Hello? Right, I need a stone. Where can I find a stone? Why have I got my torch on the floor looking for a stone? What a dumbass. Come on, fire, give me a stone. There, that'll do. That's. I should be able to hear that drop. There. Ready? Oh, you wonk. Ready? Try again. Third, second time's a charm. Bloody hell. 
that's a long way down. <laughs> anyway, we continue. I thought I could hear running water. I'm not sure if you can see. There's a waterfall down there. But we're going to go to the right here. <clears throat> Try and get the right gear for climbing. There we go. I mean, super granny cog now. I said cog. So we can climb up here and follow the ridge. That cave was with the well was amazing. Or oh, that drop. Super scary. Okay. Need all my concentration to get up this climb. <laughs> I just got to tell you about this. A tale about this fallen tree. We went, myself and Mark, rode around here in about June time and it was all overgrown and Mark in his backpack had got a paint bomb so if anybody tried to rob him or take his worldly possessions the paint bomb would go off anyway he got stuck under that log oh my god, <laughs> my god. that branch just grabbed me Oh, that'll teach me to talk ill. Well, I'm not talking ill, I'm just telling the tale. Oh my god. And the pine bomb went off and it went all over his backpack. But it was red, so it looked like he'd been attacked by a wild animal. Oh, we did laugh. Oh, there. And the good time, good thing about this time of year is. All the vegetation is dying off, so it's actually quite passable now. And I always remember the bloke here, he had two dogs that kept chasing us, and he was mowing his meadow. And one man and his two dogs went to mow a meadow. Oh, Mark, we're going to have to ride this now. This is much better, a lot more clearer. The brambles and everything was just chaos oh yeah oh. skills my girls oh. oh so far so good Whew. testing the old tricky <laughs> I was just about to turn the camera on and say I'm sure there's an ovary from here and it just came upon it An old like bandstand over item. What is this? I should say what it is. This folly was built in the 1780s and is a listed grade two. So it's a folly. But it just looks like the kids come down here, smoke the tropical tobacco, and have a bit of your father. But it's good, amazing. Part of Britain that's forgotten. Shame, really. I won't be coming here on the 31st of October for the sacrifice. <laughs> okay, back on the trail. I think we, when myself and Mark rode this, we only got probably another two or 300 foot and it just became, ouch, freaking hell that's out. It just became that overgrown with nettles and all the foliage that we gave up. And as I say, Pablo del Diablo. Oh, Jesus, wet. October, guys. Oh, your mother. That was close. Oh, Jesus, wet. I didn't swear, that's quite unusual for me. Oh look, a little cheek, cheek. Oh my God, I'm just fed up of being hit by branches. God damn it. Well, there's me thinking it would have been less overgrown. It hasn't actually changed much. But the trouble is when we rode this way and we decided to call it a day, we had to ride all the way back. So it was, yep, I recognise where I am. 
this tree was as far as we made it. <clears throat> now I'm pretty sure it's not much further. And then it starts to drop down. No way. Come on. It's got to drop down here. Right. Now we're looking at scratchy legs. Bloody hell. This is chaos. Oh, oh bloody hell. No way, I'm going to make it over that. That would just be slip slide away. <sighs> That's the beauty of having an acoustic bike. You can just lift over. Well, in for a penny. In for a poundy. Okay. I think this is just making up as you go along. Type thing. Holy shit. It doesn't get any better. But I can see. Oh, a clearing. <laughs> that wasn't my leg. That was a branch I just tried to, to try and get out of the way. Oh, back in a mo. That's where I've just ridden down, broke the branch, had to get over that, and I'm just check the map. And I am on the right trail. But it says I've got to go alongside the brook. Which is down here, according to the um, I am absolutely lost. So where's this track? I don't really want to have to push all the way back up. I'll be back in a moment. That was absolutely no access whatsoever. It was that overgrown the path was. So I've had to jump onto this road and I'll go back and get the safe way back because my legs are cut to ribbons. So I'm going to jump back on the road here and head back and do the trail where the waterfall was. Seconds away, round two. Oh, my bell's broke. Oh, good night. Note to self, don't go that way again. No matter what time of year, now we're going to go this way. Because this is where I can hear the waterfall. Ah. You're right. The waterfall. Wow, that's nice. Look at that. Obviously comes from there, flows down from all the pools, and obviously by Badger. But am I going this way? Oh, I am. <coughs> Very nice. Oh, can I have a little look here. Let's have a look. Mm, okay. Little steps going down here. Ain't definitely at the moment, all. <laughs> Look at that though. That's a code up moment. Wow. Well, that is beautiful. It's not been in Wales. Come right or come in or come over your face or whatever, I don't know. Anyway, we're going that way. The good news is, I fixed my bell. End of round two. <laughs> okay, we have a climb. Now, I think this brings me out by a pub by Ackleton called, I think he's called the Red Cow, but we'll keep climbing and see where it goes. After that little climb, you come, I came to a gate and I could go over the field, but the only trouble is the farmer is ploughing the field or putting his harrow across it and that makes the track damn near impossible to go across. So if I stay on this trail, and this is called Badger Dingle, try saying that when you've had a few stellar artois, and I've got to go all the way to the end, turn right according to the map, and that should bring me out on the main road, and then I can make my way to the next water call. I've got my legs again hacked today. But we'll part of the adventure 
Okay, we go this way. It's about as clear as that woods were just starting through. Jesus, what? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, keep smiling. The sun's out ish. Oh, this is looking a bit promising. Okay, I am going right here, I believe. Right here, right now. It does look like it carries on that way. Oh, you are in no way. Oh, okay, check the map. Map says go down here. So well, that is what I will do. Okay. Oh, how the hell? This is getting beyond a joke now. I hate that when you think you're going to have a good bike ride. Well, I always have a good bike ride. Let's try and get over. Not over that. This is going to go. Try and test out my skills and my gills. I could have sworn this. We meant to go along the top of the ridge, but if there's a path, I will use it. No way. Okay. <laughs> well, that doesn't look very promising, does it? Should we do it? <sighs> Let's do it. This could be a comedy moment. This is so wibble wobble. It's like the bloody wacky shack. I know, let's carry my bike across a rotten bridge. <laughs> All in the name of YouTube. Okay, you better say this path carries on along, along here or so be blood. Man alive. Upon analysis, I'm doing a U-turn. This trail is just no boy, no. Absolutely. I, I'm not enjoying it anymore. Absolutely not enjoying it. So I'm going to backtrack and that's the bridge. I just freaking nearly. Oh, sorry. Oh, back in a bit, guys. Not happy. Guess where I'm back at? Shit, I bet. I've got my sunglasses in my mouth and I'm trying to get across this well slippy <sighs> bridge. So I went up there, that is a dead end. I'm gonna have to bite the bullets and just backtrack and go across that field to settle I'm gonna go across. <laughs> Life behind bars. This is where a gravel bike could come in useful. I'm going to get a face full of mud now off the tyres. Anyway, final round. The winner was Mother Nature. Because I've got scratches galore. Blood galore, but no pussy galore. <laughs> We're filled. Just rode past. I found a fiver. No way. Five pounds. How about that? Today, you're getting slightly better. How about that? Five pound note right there. And don't leave a comment in the comment section below saying that was my five lay. Oh, that King Charles one and all. Don't see many of them. Oh, whoever's watching over me, thank you. That'll pay for bandages for my wounds. <laughs> right, how about that? As they say on The Simpsons, everything's coming up, Millhouse. Oh. I'm well happy with that um, fiver. I'm really happy if I could get to this gate. So, <laughs> I've been keeping my eyes peeled for any more money, just in case. There's a bag of money, been dumped. And it's got my name on it. King Charles. Not the dog either. Christ almighty, this bike needs a good clean. I'm probably carrying half a kilo of mud on it. 
Oh, right. Let's drop down this lovely bridleway. Yeah, today's been a bit of a mixed bag. Started off really good, getting used to finding some new bits and going down some old bits. And that badger dingle was good. I wanted to explore it, so I've explored it. And I won't be going back again. Nice <laughs> little bit of descending. I just bent my finger back and it, it didn't hurt, but it's like, oh, like a pain, a funny hurt, if there is such a thing. Oh, this is nice. It takes us down onto a place called Sandpit Lane. And, oh, this bike is nice, yeah, there. Yeah. Choo! Heading home now, all country lanes, and I'm going to go Langley Road because it's closed and there'll be no traffic, so it's a bit quieter. So I'm going to the right and up Spring Hill Lane. So I can get through here, cyclists and pedestrians, and I'll do a Hoy piece to camera very very shortly and mileage etc etc still five pounds richer Rrr. skills mills oh yes that's the end of the uh, vlog vlog now just had a look 31 miles and I'm still climbing about half a mile from home so, it's all good in the hood. Am I going up my old road? So, that's it guys. Hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Started off okay. Went crapola in the Badger Dingle. And then I found a fiver. And it got better. What do you think? So, there you go. That's the pronto.